Bruce Lee a name that echoes through time across cultures and into the hearts of millions. But who was Bruce Lee really, a fighter, an actor, a philosopher? Or was he something much, much more? Today we're diving deep into the untold story of how Bruce Lee transformed martial arts forever. 1. The beginning it all started in San Francisco in 1940 where Bruce Lee was born to Chinese opera star parents. Raised in Hong Kong, Bruce was exposed to the world of film and drama early on, but he was a restless spirit. By the age of 13, he found himself drawn to martial arts, specifically Wing Kung Kung Fu. This was just the beginning of his journey. Under the tutelage of IP man and grandmother of Wing Kung, Bruce developed an insatiable hunger for knowledge. But Bruce wasn't just interested in mastering one style, he was obsessed with understanding the essence of combat itself. He started studying other martial arts forms, learning, adapting, and evolving. He was not just a student, he was a seeker. 2. The big move to America at 18 Bruce Lee moved to the United States to chase his dreams. He began teaching martial arts in Seattle, where he opened his first school. Here Bruce began to mix different styles questioning traditional martial arts teachings. He was criticized by many for his approach, but Bruce was not afraid. In fact, he was ready to break the mold. Bruce believed that martial arts were more than just kicks and punches. It was a philosophy a way of life. He started developing his unique style Jeet Kune Do which means the way of the intercepting fist. Jeet Kune Do was revolutionary because it wasn't about rigid forms or fixed movements. It was about adaptability, simplicity and directness removing all that was unnecessary. 3. Breaking into Hollywood despite facing racial discrimination Bruce refused to let his dreams die. He knocked on the doors of Hollywood pitching his ideas but was turned away. America is not ready for an Asian superstar, they said. But Bruce didn't just want to be a star, he wanted to break boundaries. He knew that the world needed to see martial arts in a new light. His break came with the Green Hornet, where he played Cato the sidekick. Bruce didn't settle for a stereotypical role, he made Cato stand out with his incredible speed, agility, and charisma. The world began to notice, and martial arts were suddenly seen in a new way, not just as exotic fighting, but as an art form. Four. Returned to Hong Kong creating legends frustrated by the lack of opportunities in Hollywood Bruce returned to Hong Kong where he became a sensation. His movies such as The Big Boss Fist of Fury and Way of the Dragon shattered box office records and introduced martial arts cinema to the global stage. But Bruce wasn't just fighting opponents on screen he was fighting against stereotypes against typecasting against every norm that limited him. He choreographed every move, wrote scripts, directed scenes, he redefined what it meant to be a martial artist in cinema.